This is Dr. Susan Thrall. We're going to add a combo box to our contract and invoices form. Notice our form has information on our contracts and our subform have the invoices that go along with a particular contract. We would also like to see our customer names on this form. So if you look at the table customer, we have customer ID, names of the customers with their address and phone, but there are no contract numbers. If we look at the contract table, we have the contract numbers, customer ID, and information about the contract, but no customer names. The customer ID is the relational field that both of these tables share, and a relationship has been set up already previously on this. So going back to our form, we would like to see our customer name and customer ID in this space right here on the form. So we're going to add a simple combo box to just display that information. To add the combo box, I'm going to go to Design View. Once I'm in Design View, the Design tab with all my controls opens up. I want to add a combo box but I want to have the wizard help me because this is quite a challenging thing to do with many different aspects to it. So make sure you, your Use Control Wizard button is selected when you check your combo box. So here's the combo box form. I click it, go down to my form, and click where I would like to place that combo box. Once I click, the wizard comes up, and all I have to do is go through the wizard and answer the questions. On the first set of questions from the wizard, I have three choices. I want the combo box to look up values in a table or query. That's what I want for this particular combo box. I want it just to display these values. In a later module, we'll do the third one where we want to find a record on the form based on a value I selected my combo box. But this simple combo box just is going to look up values. Click Next. Now, which table or which query should the combo box use to look up the values? We're going to choose a query and the query is customers by name. So here it is, I click on it, click Next. The next question is, which fields do I want to display in the combo box? You could display one or several fields. So we're going to display customer first, so I click on customer, click the arrowhead, or I can double click it, and I also want to display the customer ID. So I have both of those fields over in the second column, Selected Fields. Click Next. Do I want to sort them in any particular way? So let's sort them by customer name, and we'll sort them ascending. Click Next. How wide would you like your combo columns in your combo box to be? Now, I want everything to show. I don't want anything truncated, so I'm going to best fit. Now, notice what happens here. I best fit, and everything shows, but it best fit only the things that are currently on the screen. So when I scroll down, notice some of the other customers are still truncated. So I have to best fit, keep scrolling all the way down, to make sure that none of my customer names are cut off. And it looks like they're all okay. Customer ID has plenty of room, so I'm not worried about that particular one. Click Next. Now, which, when you select a row in the combo box, you can store a value from that row in your database. Choose a field that uniquely identifies the row which column in your combo box contains the value that you want to store or use in your database. So you're going to click Customer ID. That's the one that we want to store. Click Next. We're going to store that value in a particular field. And the field we're going to store it in is Customer ID. 
click Next. What label would we like to see in our combo box? And this can be changed later, but we're going to call it for this moment, not combo 26. We're going to call it customer ID. Click finish. And I now have a new combo box on my form. Now let's view this in form view. Click form view and here it is. So I have customer ID and I have my various customer names and customer numbers in my drop down list. So what I wanted this combo box to be used for was just to view which customers go with which particular contract. So for contract number 3011, it's with Grand Rapids Housing Authority, customer ID 11068. So the combo box is giving me information that I want to have on my form.